start recording, minimize, unpause. Okay, we are connected to Pilot Edge. We go ahead and Dew point minus three. Altimeter two niner niners. Arriving and departing runways niner left, niner right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Papa. You left. SP Airport. Eight is information one four niner Zulu. Wind zero three zero at six. Visibility one zero. One zero thousand scattered. Temperature two two. Dew point minus E. Altimeter two niner niners. Arriving and departing runways niner left, niner right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Papa. Gillespie Airport. A to information, Papa. Two one four niner Zulu. Wind zero three zero at six. Visibility one zero. One zero thousand scattered. Temperature two two. Dew point minus three. Altimeter two nine or nine or seven. Arriving in nine or left. Nine or right. right. Visual okay. approaches in use. For I guess I'm with. Yeah, Okay, oh, 31 Pipes, to San Francisco Airport via Triton C departure. Okay, here Just we are transition. at uh, then as filed. Gillespie Airport. Uh, We're going to do a quick uh, expect level 340, one zero minutes after departure. flight to Carlsbad. We're going to do something interesting, so let's one, go two, five, flight point two, squawk six, zero, five, one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clear Skyway all this so you can clear to San Francisco via Triton 2, stoked then as filed. Uh, climb 3000, departure 125.2, squawk six, zero, five, one. My name is Ron Craig, I'm a lieutenant. Uh, similar to Patrol Squadron 57, uh, Group 8 San Diego. Um, Son of Bob Returns, November 3330. Captain Ben Durrett, sidekick, uh, one of our instructors and Stanley Bell pilots. I'm helping him out by making some videos Never. that people can learn from, including learning from my mistakes. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, set this up. Going to Palomar. We're going to go to procedure. Select approach. Number three, three, three zero X-ray Santa Barbara clearance. The Riverside Airport. Fly right. runway heading. And uh, radar vectors to Henner. We're going to uh, go with file. the uh, RNAV Yankee because I want an RNAV approach that gives us a vertical path. Departure frequency one two zero point five. We're going to depart VFR and I'm going to ask for a pop-up clearance uh, and uh, direct Dunby. So, yep, so that looks good. Good. Uh, fly runway so heading that is the approach is fixed. Then it's filed with altitude 3,000, then 9,000, 10 and, minutes uh, off to departure, departure, departure frequency 120.55, squawk 3536 3330 x ray. Correct. Looking on the tablet here, Oxnard. And pumps from the tower. Visual approach from two left. I get the information in. Two at once. Pumps, pump spring tower. One Sierra Lima is five and a half from Tivik. Number three one Sierra Lima spring tower. And I threw one left and right. There it is, right there. Please for CRQ. Arnav Yankee two four. There we have it. Uh, John Wayne Ground, Skyhawks. We just need this to verify our data here. Uh, we're at the museum and with the space uniform. Because of G1000, 528 feet with LPV, we'll have to verify that we actually have that kind of Echo Victor, John Wayne Ground, Squawk 667. And we're closest is 530. Uh, squawking 6670. Gang, I'm three. not going to go all the way down to 530. Number 3 Echo Victor, I'm not seeing you. Just confirm your... Just uh, giggles. I'm going to call my personal minimums. Confirm your transponders on, squawking that code for audio. 600. Feeling brave today. I uh, just hit the out button on the transponder for 3 Echo Victor. Okay, we're going to load it. Enter. 
I'm gonna pick up a victor. I two left to actually around the delta. Flight plan. I like to delete this. Bakersfield Towers, Warrior 731 November Echo is at 7,300 with uh, information Tango to land. Right here. All right, that's done. I don't have my standby instruments yet. I will be building those over the next month. Uh, ground Tower, Runway 30 right, Clinton. All right, we got our ATIS, we got ground dialed in. Right, clear to land. Edge and, one November uh, Echo. Everything is uh, all frequency the same, six, so visual we'll approach right two left. Let's see if I can get a word in. Number 2506, two runway, runway 2 left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2 left, 2506. Towers, Cessna 175, Shot Whiskey, ready for departure. And the pilot edge controllers are... San Luis, many different Tower, Skyhawk. 069 miles to the east, 4,500 inbound, Thanks, full stop, information Romeo, Cat 2. He's a busy guy. We're going to go... We're going to do a VFR practice approach here. November 17th. Oxshot, let's get you the tower, and we're tuning right. Two parts, whiskey, to the right, clear for takeoff. Minimums here. San Luis Tower, Skyhawk 069 or Mike Whiskey, eight miles to the east, inbound full stop. Information Romeo Cat 2. November 06, Mike Whiskey, San Luis Tower. Just so you're aware, for next flight, that call sign is invalid. A November number can't start with a zero. You can continue this mile final runway 29. Copy all. Reported mile finder for 069 Mike Whiskey. Thank you. And Gillespie Ground, this is Cap 449, uh, rooted taxi with 27 right for eastbound VFR departure with Papa. Cap 449, Gillespie Ground, runway 27 right, taxi via Delta. 27 right via Delta, Cap 449. All right, let's get out of here. Jamming towers at that first of six, clear runway two left at the of course, this is a uh, taxiing to FBO. Satellite the generated C. That's Rattlesnake Bravo on the left of the flare shield. Taxiing via Bravo, Montar Ground, the first of six, clear to open up. And this is Delta, as you can see from the runway sign. I'm keeping my head outside the airplane. <clears throat> I'm going to pull up a taxi diagram here. Close that. There's a Gillespie Field taxi diagram. Two Fox, right, whiskey, contact departure. Notice that I stopped while I did that. Over I didn't to drive departure, two Fox, whiskey. Driving taxi. And we're clear to the left, clear to the right. And uh, this particular setup, I have 240 degrees of view. El Monte Tower, helicopter 135, Mike. Go on the ramp just south of the tower, I'd like to the position to the south. Information whiskey. Number 135, Echo, uh, El Monte Tower, sorry. Departure from the ramp at your own risk. Have a good day. From the ramp at your own risk. Fine, Mike. Go, thanks. San Luis Town or Tower, Skyhawk. Uh, Six nine Mike Whiskey, three mile final, runway two nine. Number nine Mike Whiskey, runway two nine, clear to land. Clear to land, runway two nine or nine Mike Whiskey. And this is uh, X plane with Sound Air Boyle Labs. Brown, November three three zero, X ray with Charlie Park near signature. Request taxi. And we're off. Number three 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 zero, X ray Santa Barbara ground, runway two five, taxi via Julia. Two five via Julia, three 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 zero, X ray. Learn to fly here. Los Angeles Ground with uh, 3146, turn off to taxi for departure with Lima. Skywest 3146, Los Angeles Ground. You can Grand. see the Air and Space Museum Runway directly right, ahead of us. Taxi, Delta 8, Echo, Delta, Delta. Other classic uh, aircraft. 
six right via Delta eight I Echo Delta Delta for, uh, for uh, thirty one forty six. Three one is zero one zero zero home. All right. Uh, three one Sierra Lima, right mile up. final, Palm Springs. Three one Sierra Lima, you're already uh, clear to land runway three one left. Clear to land runway three one left. That's not the idea. This is a, 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 um, a simulator demonstration and a demonstration of this approach and pilot aid. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab the keyboard. I'm going to do an external view first. I'm going to. John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk 733, Echo Victor, is ready to go, runway 2 left at Delta. 733, Echo Victor, John Wayne Tower, runway 2 left, clear for takeoff. 2 left, clear for takeoff, 3 Echo Victor. And the software needs to be connected for it to work. There we go, you saw it move. It's kind of robotic. And there it goes, it's vibrating with the engine. Very nice, gonna minimize that. I am connected. We're gonna go to an outside view. As you see, we got our fabulous Civil Air Patrol 172. I don't have the same tail number as, uh, as our airplane, but uh, that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick flight control test. Elevators correct. Ailerons are correct. Rudder is doing its thing. Okay, that's good. They're both free. They're all free and correct. We're gonna go back in the airplane. We go ahead and set up our views a little better, so that I can squat down, so I can at least see the wingtips and uh, center myself in the cockpit. We'll set the keyboard aside. We're going to do a quick run up. 1700 RPM. Sound of Bobber Tom. 3332 X ray. Uh, holding Juliet on right 25 ready for the puncture. And back, and it recovers. Next mag. Adequate drop, less than 150. Three, 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 That's take good. Off. We don't have car pieces. Two five, two five, two five, three, 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 zero, two, three. Vacuum is good. Um, Bakersfield Tower, I, Warrior 731 November Echo is clear of 30 right at Echo. Simvim X. Number 733, Victor Radar contact, contact Set departure. Plug in. Go into departure, 733, Echo Victor. Flaps are working. November 7, uh, 31 November Echo, taxi to parking via good. Alpha, remaining Got frequency. All our engine instruments are all set. Taxi parking via Alpha, good. remaining Back frequency, 731 Echo. 1000. All right, ready to depart. Depart yeah, the VFR, the VFR and ask for a bump six up. 600 Mike Whiskey is clearly active at Echo. November 600 Mike Whiskey, taxi to add pass for CAT2. Check to the parking vehicle at 600 Mac Whiskey. Over tower. Thank you for your... Have a good one. And Gillespie Tower, this is Cap 449, holding short at 27 right for eastbound VFR departure. Cap 449, east departure approved, and right 27 right, clear for takeoff. 27 right, clear for takeoff, Cap 449. All right. Now, looking at the runway sign, that is 27 right. Helicopter 135 Mac Echo, 7 miles north, inbound full south landing at the north helipads, and with information alpha. November 135 Mac Echo, pull it in power, landing at the ramps at your own risk, and remain west of runway 24. Less than 500 feet, we're landing straight ahead. At the ramp at your own risk, remain west of runway 24, 135 Mac. All right, taking the center line. Full power, you see the yoke comes back with the prop wash. I can feel those runway lines on center line, right rudder, airspeed's alive. And there's our rotate. And we are committing aviation. Number three is the contact departure. Contact coordinated. departure, X-ray. We're gonna pitch and trim for 
let's say the mid 70s here. Los Angeles Tower, RS 3146, ready to go, 3, uh, correction 6, right. Cross 3146, LA Tower, and my 6 right, clear for Clear for 6 right, 3146. Right. Palm Springs Ground, Twin Diamond 310 Lima, clear 31 left at hotel. Uh, set up, you see Cal's Zero Mountain over there. Lima, Dakota Park and via Whiskey Monitor Ground. It's photorealistic, that satellite imagery. Parking via Whiskey Monitor Ground. The actual hiking trails that exist. Go. Kind of hard to fly and use that. And I'm going to start my right turn. Clear left, clear right. Staying coordinated, a little right rudder. And maintaining my climb. Of course, I don't have to use the steerable view at all when I'm sitting in the sim because I've got the wrapper on screens. But here I show you what it looks like. And we're clear of Rattlesnake Mountain off to the right. I start my turn again. And we're turning downwind as we climb. That's traffic pattern altitude and then some. We're of course going to climb out in the way. And uh, El Capitan Mountain's uh, coming into view directly ahead of us at about this point, right over the compass. Contact departure. Contact departure, good day, 31. 6. Square off our pattern a little bit. And head us directly east until we pass Lake Jennings. Nicely at about 84, 85 knots. Get up to about 3,500 and hang a left towards Ramona. We get their uh, control towers 119 or 1875. We're not landing, we don't need any tids. go. Got that all dialed up, 2,600, climbed 3,500. And I went ahead and turned on the autopilot just because I'm lazy. And why not? To do that, I synced up the heading by pushing the heading knob once. It synced it up with my current, current course, tweaked it to exactly the heading I wanted, 090. Off to the left of the glare shield, you can see Lake Jennings there visual checkpoint that tells us if we go left towards Barona Casino, uh, which is also on the, on the aeronautical chart here, that we will miss and stay under 3,500 feet. We will miss the Bravo airspace, which keeps our ticket intact. 500 to go. And uh, at any rate, I sync up the heading. I hit uh, autopilot, which put it in pitch and roll sync, which is the default, and then click he clicked heading. Um, the pitch seemed to work well for me. Nice cruise climb. And uh, here we are. And Jennings about to pass by the A pillar there. screen, turn the range knob to the right, and of course you can see that uh, your 
here's where Lake Jennings actually is. Right now, I'm to for all the inputs I'm using. Oh, why I blew through my altitude? Oh dear. I'm talking to you folks. I'm gonna make a left. Pull out some power. I'm gonna go. Vertical speed. Nose down until I get back to 3,500. All right, let's go ahead and use the heading bug to turn ourselves towards Verona Casino. It's on the other side of this mountain ridge. We'll be able to see it shortly. Exactly north. That looks like it'll work. Goes down a little more. So what we're going to do is we're going to get clear of this uh, Bravo shelf here. That's the uh, class Bravo airspace that's used by Miramar Marine Corps Air Station for their instrument approaches, part of the San Diego class Bravo airspace. And once we're clear of that, we're going to uh, make another 10 or 15 degrees to the left. go. Once we're clear of that, uh, we're going to go ahead and climb, call up an approach plate, get a hold of uh, SoCal Approach, ask for a pop-up IFR. And vectors to Dunby. We've got beautiful weather today, so we can ask for a VFR practice clearance. Stay out of the poor guy's hair. And there is a Verona Casino ahead of us, just uh, just above the dash. To the left of the angle of attack indicator that's part of the uh, Airfoil Labs Cessna 172 Next Generation. Doesn't uh, model the uh, G1000 NXI as we would like, but uh, hopefully with X Plane 12, they'll come out with uh, some significant G1000 enhancements. But regardless, it's a fantastic training tool. So we'll kind of sneak into, we're already above Ramona's 3,800 feet and below. I'm going to give him a call. And Verona Tower, this is Cap 449 over... Uh, uh, Verona Casino, 3,500, like a northbound transition here, please. Okay, so Thought it was awful quiet. Cap 449, room Howard, northbound transition approved. Northbound transition approved, Cap 449. All right. So now we can stay at this level, climb if we want to, once we're clear of the shelf. In those grounds, Cherokee 5011 Whiskey at uh, FBO Parking uh, with BFR departure to the south with Sierra. 
Number 501 on West Kent, and we're 29 er taxi via Alpha. 29 er via Alpha, 1-1 one, one Whiskey. Looks like it's a uh, 132.2 after we're done with this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and climb. Set the altitude to 4,500. We're going to go. Flight level change. Advance the throttle. I'm going to want to climb at about 95 knots. So I'm going to click the nose up button. Flight level change is, is a great mode for climbs because if you decide you wanted to maintain a vertical speed, say for example, you can maintain 700. 700 feet per minute at sea level. You decide you're going to climb to 11,005 or something silly like that um, and keep it at 700. You can stall the airplane because it can't maintain 700 feet per minute up there, right? So you can just happily cruise yourself into a, or climb yourself into a stall. That's not good. Flight level change maintains a constant airspeed and if you get the climb rate you get. Uh, if you want to climb a little faster, reduce the airspeed. Aircraft pitches up. I'm going to go ahead and lean the airplane a bit. Right rudder to make sure we're coordinated. The autopilot, of course, doesn't do that for us. And we're going to scroll this down to Dunby. Guess what? We're actually really close to it. That's our initial uh, initial approach fix. Let's call up that plate. We know where we are. First off, we're going to go to IFR tablet. Let's call up the plate. Jim Lewis, the tower D five zero one one whiskey, holding short at two nine, ready for departure. Close. We can actually climb on our strip. Five zero one one with Jim Lewis tower, and we see on our quick for takeoff. I want to go to four thousand. For takeoff, 2-9, one, one whiskey. We'll say 5,000 feet. All right. And we have that plate called up. Nope, so we're going to go here. Plates for CRQ. Our Yankee 2-4. Bada bing. I'm going to head east now. Um, get some distance from Dumby. Dumby, get a clearance and ask for vectors. Of course, we're maintaining VFR right now. We're responsible for traffic separation and terrain clearance. Looks like we're all set there, though. There's our 5,000 feet. Of course, it captured it. And uh, Number in the ground, it's Cessna 313 Alpha Alpha, do you copy? Number 
Alpha San Bernardino ground, go ahead. Uh, how do you copy? Loud and clear. I'm at the ramp, uh, ready to copy the clearance uh, to Palm Springs. Number 213 Alpha out there to Palm Springs Airport, runway 6 officer with departure procedure to Paradise 186, Nickel, Victor 64, Thermal, Direct, maintain 6,000, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4, clock 4701. Can you repeat the clearance again, please? I got the rest of the clearance up. There's something you can't do in a real Cessna. Mr. Winfrey Alpha, do you need the whole clearance again? SoCal approaches CAP 449 with request. CAP 449, SoCal. Uh, can I get a uh, uh, Bravo clearance and a VFR practice approach into Carlsbad with the RNAV uh, Yankee 24 uh, with the initial approach fix at Dunby? Safe position. I'm about uh, 10 miles east of Ramona for CAP 449. And what's what type aircraft are you? I say again, CAP 449. What type airplane are you? I'm sorry, one more time, I still didn't hear it. Say uh, aircraft type? Uh, 172 slant Gulf for CAP 449. Cap 449, squad 2272 and ident, Cap 449. 2272 and ident, Cap 449. Cap 449, radar contact, 8 miles northeast of Ramona, the Ramona altimeter 299.9, stand by just a moment for your request. Cap 449. Scott 7 3 Echo Vector, contact SoCal approach, 119.6. 119.6, 3 Echo Vic. 172 Foxtrot Whiskey, contact SoCal 4.2. 3.4.2, 2 Tuesday. Result Cap Reservoir. Number 5, Mike Lima, contact Albuquerque Center, 134. Approach SR 122 Foxtrot Whiskey, level 4000. We'll be requesting the ILS to Zulu 16 right, Mr. Approach. Back 172 Fox, shall we so call approach? The Van Nuys Altimeter 3001, Papa is current, climb and maintain 5000. 5002 Fox, whiskey, and I do have the weather, Papa. And I forgot to write down the. Uh... Approach, good afternoon, Skyhawk 733, Echo Victor, 5500. Or 733, Echo Victor, so approach, Palomar Altimeter 30, correction, Palomar Altimeter 2907. Two nine or seven. Cap no, four nine. Uh, do you want to be on a Yankee two four from Dunby practice approach? Uh, that's correct. Cap four four nine. Thanks. Right, Cap four forty nine. No Bravo is required. Dunby is outside the Bravo airspace. Uh, proceed direct to Dunby. Cross at Dunby. At or above five thousand, the yard. Have Yankee run a two four practice approach is approved. Services are provided. RNF 24 practice approach approved direct Dunby for CAP 449. Nice. All right, so we're going to go menu. Scott 172 Fox, was live present Activate heading vector is ILS Zulu runway 16 right final approach course. Live present heading, expect the vector is 2 bucks.
Okay, I got to cross it at or above 5,000. We're going to go ahead and use VNAP today. So, let's see how that goes. Done B. They want us to cross 7,900. We're going to go back to the plate. We're vectored. Not a problem. As soon as we cross that, I'm going to go ahead and kick us into VNAV mode. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the altitude down to... Looks like 3,100 is the altitude of the initial approach fix. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And we are, we'll be there in uh, about a minute and a half, according to... Walker 866, contact Vegas approach, 125.02. 120.15 to get the E2s. Las Vegas approach, Walker 866, descending through 18.5 on the cocktail one. Condition clear, temperature 18, dew point two. Altimeter 2997, arriving and departing runway 24, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact you have information Charlie. Carlsbad McClellan Lamar Airport, A to information Charlie, Blue 253 Zulu, wind 260 at 8, visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 18, dew point 2. Altimeter 2997. Arriving and departing runway 24. Visual approaches in use. Read back all seconds. runway assignments and hope. Back to SoCal. Altimeter set. vertical path. TBM 33 Zulu X-ray to maintain 5,000. One thing you will read will see 5, 000, 3, 3, 3, 3, 0, is that uh, we have a dot along our path right here. That is the top of descent. So we've got V path showing up here. Right now it has us holding at 5,000 feet. We have V path. We want to confirm that it's doing what we want. Um, autopilot mode. It's following the flight director's following the GPS. Autopilot is engaged, meaning the flight director or the servos will follow the flight director. Okay. Um, so hopefully we get to our top of descent and it lowers the nose and off we go. I've got uh, full rental power right now. Because uh, uh, I don't want this to take all day. Right now we're doing 120 knots over the ground. According to this reading here, we're going to be at Kanak at 340 in three minutes and 40 seconds. And we should be down to 3,000 feet right now. Target vertical speeds minus 528. If we look down here, 527 feet per minute. It'll go ahead and establish that. That's nice and comfortable. Now when it lowers the nose to get that, we're gonna wanna pull out some power. Um, one thing that this doesn't do, this is a two-axis autopilot. It's not going to manage the throttle for you, so you can get yourself into trouble. We're going to pull out some power for the descent, and when we hit the, that uh, bottom of descent and level off again, we're going to want to add power or we're going to lose speed. You can lose enough speed that you don't, uh, uh, that you don't have enough airspeed to fly, right? You can stall the airplane that way, so uh, it's important to, uh, to manage that throttle. 
uh, as the uh, we don't have a fade act here. The computer's not going to go for us. All right, let's go ahead and brief that approach. We've got uh, approach course is two four five. It's uh, clear to the Carlsbad um, McClellan, McClellan Airport via the RNAV Yankee runway two four. It is an LPV approach, assuming that we get that indication in the center of our CDI and our left display here. So our minimums are 528. We're going to make it 600 feet. Um, as we said earlier, uh, if we don't, uh, don't have the airport by then, we're going missed. We're not going to second guess it to go lower which is uh climb straight out to 2000 and then to ibuj and hold and that will be a uh we'll go ahead and do a parallel entry at that point right yeah, turn right, excuse the last right contact socal approach 135.4 and there's our so top of the set. And it did what we hoped, and I'm going to pull out some power so that we don't overspeed the airplane. Maybe you want to be in that yellow arc. You don't so mind getting approach, approach. But 3330 X ray, 6,000 uh, feet descending to 5,000. I think it's good to keep it. Uh, TBM 3330 X ray approach, the Riverside altimeter. Keep it nice and 3000. Expect visual approach runway 9 Expecting visual yeah, for zero nine, uh, um, um, uh, ultimate of three zero zero zero, and I have see this. Um, uh, sure, I think it's golf three three two zero. Magenta, it is golf. Uh, we got that magenta V that shows us kind of our, our approach our three slope. It's going to descend down to it. And uh, off to the right here, Roger. it shows us another magenta V with the target vertical speed. Super handy if you're flying it by hand. Otherwise, the autopilot and the flight director will do it. The autopilot will do it. The flight director, if you've got it turned on, and there we leveled off. We're adding some power. We've got 14 seconds before our turn. Well, or now. And uh, you can see on the primary flight display that we've got a glide, pa glide path coming in. Of course, the CDI has GPS selected, which is our nav source. No wind today dialed in. Um, I didn't do real world weather, so pretty simple. And uh, before that little diamond gets gets to the center, I'm going to go ahead and enter approach mode, and it's going to intercept a glide slope like it was an ILS. And this thing will fly us directly into the ground uh, if we if we let it. Right. So we actually have to decide to uh, uh, to go missed if we indeed do. We're going to go ahead and make it a full stop landing today, unless of course we do have a problem and have to go go around. That's always an option, right? Every landing we're spring-loaded for a go-around. Cap 449, kind of Palomar Tower, 118.6. Over to Palomar, 118.6, Cap 449. Should have dialed that in while well, it wasn't busy. Scout 3146 at Oakland Center, 127.45. Palomar Tower, Cap 449, uh, inbound for full stop landing in the RNA Yankee. Cap 441, Palomar Tower, and right 2-4, clear to land. 2-4, clear to land, Cap 449. All right, so I'm going to go to approach mode, and we've got the glide path. So we commanded it, and we verified it right here. 
until you've verified that it's doing what you hope it's doing, uh, it's not doing it, right? So there's what you told it and what it heard. And I'm going to go ahead and slow us down. We are Santa Maria Tower. Zero one one whiskey is clear of the active. Two point four miles from your deck. A lot of more power. Number five zero one one with active parking via Alpha. Your planning Remain checklist. Frequency. Mixture rich. Taxi parking via Alpha. Remain the frequency one one with. Gumps, gas, both, under, undercarriage down and welded, mixture, rich, props, not adjustable here. And we have the airport in sight at this point. And we're pulling out more power. Just for giggles, if I really wanted to, we could go dial up uh, uh, 108. What is the uh, ILS here? 108.6. There's a 5. I don't know. We don't need DME. Just tinkering around. All right, we're below 110 knots, so we can go ahead and typically at this point, I would uh, add a notch of flaps, slow us down a bit. Two thousand RPM, one notch of flaps gets us about a hundred knots. That beautiful Pacific Ocean. And we are clear to land. Again, second gumps check, gas on both, undercarriage down and welded, mixture is rich, and prop is fixed. Getting the performance we expect out of the airplane. So we know we didn't leave the gear up, among other reasons. And uh, looks like we're ready to land. Van Nuys Tower, uh, 508 November Delta, holding to Romeo for stop on departure. 508 November Delta, that's power runway 34 left, great for takeoff. On course departure approved. Right, I'm going to pull out some power. Could take off 34 left, as in Remember Delta. Autopilot will keep us on the glide slope. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Las Vegas Tower, walking 66 inbound for one way, one left. Give Walker 866, Las Vegas Tower, runway one left, clear to land. One left, clear to land, Walker 866. Miles out. And uh, 980, looking for 600. Riverside, Riverside County, the 333 X ray inbound. Uh, Engaged visual approach, is runway 9. Approach. Do it right at 600 feet. Drop in another notch of flaps. A beautiful runway ahead of us. Letting it slow down to. Walker 866. Power and one left, clear to land. One left, clear to land, Walker 866. That'll slow us down even more and 600. Disengage that autopilot and another notch of flaps. Knots and 
Riverside Tower, November 3330, X-ray, um, run, um, inbound, runway zero 09 approach. For single notch landing. Number three, the Riverside Power Tower, out. runway nine, X ray point. Runway nine, X ray, two, three, 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 zero, X ray. And that's it, touchdown. I'm not going to try to make this. wonder why my flaps got disconnected. A little simulator issue. Depending on the type of landing, Santa Barbara clear the Skyhawk 35 Papa Echo. It was a 172 slant Gulf Delta Northwest 5500. Sorry, 4500. Clear the uh, runway environment here. And sure enough. Cap 449 to parking via Alpha, remain the frequency. Parking via Alpha with you, Cap 449, thanks for the help. Number 385, Echo, uh, go ahead with your, again with your request, sorry. Uh, sorry, 385, Echo, we're uh, There's a 172 pole. slant Gulf north ramp at Santa Hovering Barbara with information Delta VFR feet feet northwest at 4,500. And uh, some of the gravel here doesn't really exist. Number three, five top echo on departure flight runway heading, maintain VFR at or below 3000 until advised. Departure frequency 120.55, Glock 6413. Can you imagine crashing into a telephone pole? On departure flight runway ground. heading at or below 3000, uh, departure frequency 120.55, Glock 6413, five top echo. Five top echo, read back, correct? And I'm taxiing, uh, I guess fine. 1,000 RPM usually does it. Gillespie Field, good afternoon. Sky Hawk 733 Echo Vic with information, Quebec landing full stop. Uh, we are uh, uh, 10 to the west. See this gravel where there's 733 Echo Victor Gillespie so. Tower, enter left down on runway 27 right, report midfield. field. Left down in for a 27 uh, midfield for a Skyhawk 733 Echo Victor. All right, we'll call this a good parking space. Santa Barbara ground, Skyhawk 35 Up Echo North Ramp with Delta ready for taxi. All right, that was it. That's our uh. Arnav Yankee approach with VNAT. Uh, had I not gone into approach mode before we descended past 3,100, uh, it would have stopped there, right? Because this is the lowest autopilot will go otherwise in VNAV. Um, it's not going to descend any further than that. So, well, hope you enjoyed uh, the video and you learned a little something. And uh, we'll see you in the next one when we do another so approach. Test another three, 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 three,